Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zot There Gardens and this is episode 44 of Gardening Without Edits. I'm going to show you something that I experimented with a long time ago, um, about maybe three, four months ago, and I continue to do it every two weeks. Uh, I'm going to swing the camera around right now. I had two pairs. Well, I still have one. I had one here. I don't remember the exact pronunciation. It was like du jour, something like that, and a Bartlett. Uh, this one, the fire blight took it all the way down to about six inches off the ground. Fire blight took all of it out. It became all black. It was, it was sad to see, really. Um, and I'll put in a, a video in this uh, video right now, up in the corner, of uh, me talking about that in a previous video. But I did something. I didn't want to lose this Bartlett. I did something that I thought about for a while. I did a lot of research online and I said, how can I get my Bartlett to produce or not have as much fire blight? Because apples and pears are prone to some fire blight. But I didn't want it to happen like that. I wanted pears for my family and I wanted a nice big tree for, to provide shade on my grass lawn. Um, so what I did was, you know, I did the liquid copper and all that stuff. I've done that before and I got fire blight. But I also added another thing. I put diluted diluted iodine in a spray bottle and now for the first time ever i'm getting pears everywhere uh sorry for the train a lot up here but there's a lot and there's some fire blight here and there there's some fire blight it's not like it's zero um you can see right here there's some fire blight so i'm, I'm transparent it does happen but uh if I didn't remove the flowers last year, the flowers, all the flowers became fire blight on this tree, but it didn't kill the tree. Last year, that tree just died to the ground. It was pretty sickening to see. It was really sad, um, but I'm gonna get fruit. I've never had this before. Now, I'm gonna show you my pink lady apple. When I didn't spray iodine on it, take a look. Every you could already tell every single well I think I'm gonna get one apple you know I mean at least I get one apple right but every single flower bud became fire blood so I think I got a question online about oh it might have been because we re received less rain could be but why did my pink lady end up like this and I am NOT gonna prune it down I'm not gonna remove the fire blight I'm gonna see what happens. I'm tired of babying it. Uh, this has been five years in the ground and it hasn't produced, well, sorry. It's at least produced one apple for me. Keep experimenting and keep gardening and always happy gardening.